Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to look at how to code from the Neoplasm table in our ICD-10 CM codebook. So, remember you always look up the code in your index. So open up your ICD-10 codebook, go to the very back of the index. You'll see at the very back, behind the Z's, there is the Neoplasm table. So the neoplasm table is in the front of the book, again, right behind our alphabetical index. This is where we look up anytime we're gonna code a neoplasm, whether it's benign or malignant. So you'll see this column format. The very left-hand column is the anatomical location of the neoplasm you're coding. Across the top is the behavior. If it's malignant primary, malignant secondary, carcinoma in situ, benign, uncertain behavior, or unspecified behavior. So how we utilize this neoplasm table, again, you look up your anatomical site, then you go to the classification or the behavior. So let's just say we have a patient, a 39-year-old female who has breast cancer, breast carcinoma in her right upper inner quadrant of the right breast. So we're gonna come here to our neoplasm table. We're gonna go to B to breast. Breast, you can see, let me go in a little bit closer. So we're at breast. Then we said it was upper inner quadrant and at the top, let me back up, malignant primary, malignant secondary, carcinoma in situ are the three you would use if it's cancer. Benign, obviously, is if it's non-cancerous. Uncertain behavior or unspecified behavior is when the physician has documented just that. So our patient had carcinoma, which is a malignant primary, in her breast. So we are given code five, or sorry, C, five, zero, point two. So now we're gonna flip to the tabular. It's in the regular tabular like normal. We're gonna flip to C, 50.2. We can see here that we need an additional character plus a sixth character. Remember the hyphen tells you you need something. Check mark tells you you need another character. So we're going to flip to C50. Point two. C50.2. We'll see malignant neoplasm of upper inner quadrant of breast. 21 is female. And then you can see right here, 211 is right, 212 is left, 219 is unspecified breast. We said right, so our code would be C50.211. Now let's do another one. Let's go back to the neoplasm table. And let's say that we have a patient who has brain cancer that metastasized from her breast. Okay, so the same patient. Now we're going to code her with breath, uh, brain metastasize or METS. So if we come back again to the neoplasm table, I'm gonna go to brain, which we can see all the way at the bottom is the NEC, brain NEC. Remember, NEC is not elsewhere classified or classifiable. We don't know the location of the, the brain cancer, we didn't say, so we're gonna pick this. If we look at the other side, all the specific anatomical locations within the brain are noted here. If we knew if it was, you know, the ventricle or the cerebellum, but we don't know. So we're gonna pick the NEC for not elsewhere classified. And we're not gonna pick primary malignancy first column. We're gonna pick the second column because it metastasized or it's a secondary site. So that is C79.31. So once we get there, again, we want to look that up in the tabular list. So we go to C79.31. So 
So secondary malignant neoplasm of brain. Okay, so now I want you to do one on your own. Uh, we have a 65-year-old male with prostate cancer. So go ahead and pause the video. When you think you have the code, unpause, and we'll go over the correct answer. So hopefully you guys came up with C61, which is malignant neoplasm of the prostate, C61. And to look that up, again, we would have went to our neoplasm table. We would have went to P prostate, prostate, and then C61 right there. I hope you found this beneficial.